Welcome to this SkillPad video resource, where we make learning fun. In this video, we are going to look at how the continents and ocean basins came into existence. Have you ever wondered why the land masses on our planet are surrounded by expansive oceans? Or how these land masses and the vast blue ocean basins were formed? Our planet's surface is a complex tapestry of continents and ocean basins, each with its own unique origin story. Today we'll explore the theories that seek to explain these intriguing mysteries. In the early 20th century, a German meteorologist named Alfred Wegener proposed the theory of continental drift. Wegener suggested that the Earth was once a single supercontinent, which he named Pangaea. Over time, Pangaea broke apart, and the pieces drifted to their current locations, forming the continents we know today. Wegener's theory, although initially met with skepticism, laid the groundwork for our understanding of the Earth's surface. However, it wasn't until the mid-20th century that compelling evidence for continental drift emerged. Through the study of the ocean floor, scientists discovered a pattern of magnetic stripes that provided proof of seafloor spreading, a process where new oceanic crust is formed at mid-ocean ridges and moves away from the ridge over time. This discovery led to the development of the theory of plate tectonics in the late 20th century. The plate tectonics theory proposed that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into several large and small plates that float on the semi-fluid asthenosphere beneath. These plates move and interact, leading to the formation of continents, ocean basins, mountains, and other geographical features. The interactions between the plates can be of three types, convergent boundaries, where plates collide, divergent boundaries, where plates move apart, and transform boundaries, where plates slide past each other. To summarize, we began with Wegener's theory of continental drift, which proposed that the continents were once part of a single supercontinent, Pangaea. This was followed by the discovery of seafloor spreading, which provided evidence for the drifting of continents. Finally, these findings gave rise to the theory of plate tectonics, which explains the formation and movement of continents and ocean basins. Now let's turn to East Africa, a region that offers a fascinating case study for these theories. The East African Rift, a divergent boundary, is slowly splitting the African continent into two. As the plates move apart, the land between them sinks, forming a rift valley. Over time, these rift valleys may become ocean basins, a process that has likely been repeated throughout Earth's history. The story of continents and ocean basins is a tale of constant change and movement. It's a reminder that the Earth beneath us is alive, evolving, and full of surprises. So next time you stand on a continent or gaze across an ocean, remember this incredible journey and marvel at the dynamic world we live in. Thank you for using this SkillPad video resource. We hope it was useful. Look out for more videos from us on the same platform. We hope to see you again soon.